Universe. Ako si Chelsea Manalo, 24 na taong gulang mula sa unang Republican ng Pilipinas, ang dakilang lalawigan ng Bulacan. She's half American, half Filipino. I'm American, living in the Philippines. We got a lot in common. I mean, I think you're overdue, Philippines. Miss Universe for all the marbles in Mexico City. Let's go Philippines. 2024 Miss Universe. Yeah! Hula I have something to share Chelsea with you. Manala. I can look bang different flavors of ice cream in just one sitting. You want? I want. Because the Korean ice cream. I saw that. Great in a swimsuit. Very athletic. Chelsea Manala. I think she can do it. I think she can win Miss Universe. Half American, half Filipina. Runway. It's a nice. Uh, Sexy dress, evening. Wear that on a date. Tries to impress. <laughs> I'm impressed. Oh. National costume. Wow. On a list is the depiction of the fusion between endemic flowering trees and a client and exquisite birth that are endemic in the islands of the Philippines. This national it's very exotic. Is like if she didn't have that front part taken off, you wouldn't even know that was her. That's her trademark walk. She's got this leg over leg thing. A symbol of harmony between nature and tradition. Did they paint the arms or is that like a leggings thing? So what kind of animal is this? Put this in the, is it a bird? Let me know, guys. Indico alam. Boboaco. Designer. Mani Halasan. This is the Philippines national costume, is it? Mani Halasan. That's the designer. Very talented. I like the attention to detail. I know I am the next Miss Universe Philippines because I have that heart. I have the relatability to be um, influential to a lot of people with the voice, with the action that I am most passionate about. It is through the um, education for the youth. You know, this is what I really want to pursue. If I could be that Miss Universe, it will open so many opportunities for me so that I can be a change for our nation. Thank you so much, Chelsea Manalo. Good answer. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Chelsea Manalo, Pulakan. Good answer. Well spoken, articulate. Gala. This was the swimsuit. I did a video about this. Yeah, long hair, good stage presence. She did a great job. A lot of competition, but I think she did uh, one of the best out there for sure. Prelim Gala. There's so many different stages. One's a more colorful outfit. I'd take her out on a date. Why not? She's half American, half Filipino. I'm American, living in the Philippines. We got a lot in common. I mean, Chelsea, if you're out there, call me. I mean, are you feeling this? It's electric, right? It's palpable. <laughs> hey, when the stars align, it's destiny. She says that Bulacan coronation, the crown, the tiara. Hmm. Yeah, this is the dress where she's got this slow walk, but she looks like. The queen, the bride, surrounded by her bridesmaids. She got this big outfit. All the other ones, small, 
Don't take up a lot of room. She has this presence that says, no, 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 I'm here to win. I'm As here to, I'm here to color, compete. I have always faced challenges in my life. I was told that beauty is high standard, actually. But for me, I have listened to always believe in my mother, to always believe in yourself, uphold the vows that you have in yourself. Because of these, I am already influencing a lot of women who are facing me right now as a transformational woman. I have here 52 other delegates with me who have helped me to become the woman I am. Thank you. Our Miss Universe Good Philippines answer. 2024 is... The moment we've all been waiting for. The final two. It'd be so stressful holding hands with your competition like that. Couldn't do it. And there you have it. You really drag it out. Hey, at least they put the crown and they couldn't get it on her head properly until like a minute later. But they got the crown on there. It was floating for a bit, but they got it. Miss Universe for all the marbles in Mexico City. I'd like to believe she could do it. There's a lot at stake here. Um, it's been, what, five, six years since the last one. I think you're overdue, Philippines. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What's next? Did they pick the right candidate? I think they did. Like I said, she's half American. I'm American. She's living in the Philippines, half Filipino. I'm living in the Philippines. She likes ice cream. I like ice cream. I mean, right? Like, hey, I'm just saying, I don't really believe in coincidences. So, uh, Chelsea, if you're watching, I'm your number one fan. Call me. <laughs> uh, what, what else is there really to say? I mean, she's got it all. I like the way she answered her question, you know, as a woman of color, you know, she's faced challenges. It could not have been easy. And um, you just overcome those obstacles. There's, there's no giving up. When you have a dream, when you have a vision, you see it, you believe it, you achieve it. That is all that we can do, okay? Takes a little bit of luck, sure, but I'm a believer that sometimes we make our own luck, right? It's not something that we just say, well, I got a tough hand in life, right? And I think her father died, passed away. I'm sorry to hear that. And stepfather really stepped up to the plate and wow, it's incredible what she was able to do. So let's go Philippines. 2024 Miss Universe. Yeah!